Yeah, see, promotions are nice and short and easy. I'm gonna chuck some plasma. Or I can make a super cancels really long by doing jump cancel and then super canceling the super jump. Super jumps have kind of a lot of startup. Like five or six frames. And you can cancel any of them to super. And you can super jump cancel kind of late for his stand strong. Ooh. Gives you lots and lots of confirm time. Yeah, Jinrai just said he tiger needs his supers just to be safe. With Oro, that actually gives you more time. Depends on the setup, but like, what do you ever cancel besides uh, Stand Strong into Seeper? I guess Uppercut sometimes, theoretically. Uh, uh, Damn. I'm out of here. <gasps> Look. Low Fierce into Seeper, yeah, you do that all the time. It's a good combo for a while. Nice. Oh, really unsafe. Elbow drop is pretty good at beating flash kick. It's pretty good at beating all of Gal's anti airs. Except air throw. You gotta get it kinda out there. It's hard to explain. You gotta you gotta do the elbow drop pretty early. But don't just jump in for free. You'll get yourself killed if you do that. Yeah, Tiger Knee, Tiger Knee is uh, quarter circle into f up forward. All super motions in third strike are quarter circle forward. None of them back. Oh no. I had a feeling that was coming. That's my favorite wing quote from Gal, it makes no sense. Yeah. Arms and legs cut like blades, what the fuck? Yeah, always double quarter circle. Even on charge characters, always double quarter circle. I actually kind of like that. Yeah, me too. It also gives you some weird motions you don't do in other games. Like uh, quarter circle forward. Oh yeah, down, 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 three punches too. <laughs> Uh, there's a couple weird ones. I wonder how Ice Song's anti airs are. Oh shit. <laughs> Jumping around like I own the place. Oh, there it is. Ooh, that was cool too. Playing that zoning game. Oh shit. That down 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 three punches is Akuma. It's KKZ. Congo Congo Kokorots is on. Oh shit, that's not what I wanted. I didn't even get the punish. Uh this is everything is going wrong. That is not a good trade. I need it. Oh shit! I canceled it early enough to block that, but I was down down backing because I'm a dipshit. You only need 540 for a 720, and you only need 270 for a 360. It's not even that much. Damn! Damn! You missed that. You got a nice like confirmed too. I'm getting beaten in footsies because I'm fucking around with shit that doesn't work. Oh, that went pretty well. I don't know why I did EX. Ah, oh, fuck. That was the wrong combo. And I was not punished. Oh. And I can't easily jump in on reaction to a um, 
that. That's like the right answer to jump in, but Elena's jump is so slow that she can't jump in reaction to the final hit and still get the punish. Did you like just discover Twitch emotes? I don't know why I did that, that was so bad. I haven't fucked that up in a while. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, my level four was too meaty. Huh. I tried the job. Stone block son. Damn, tricky tricky. Damn. Ah. Uh, chanced it. 360 is not even all four cardinal, actually. You only need, um. Yeah, it's all four cardinal directions. You only need, uh. You don't even need all four cardinal directions, technically, because you can just do, um. You only need one of the up directions. You only need a half circle and then, like, up forward. Or up back. You should always roll away from the opponent, I feel, to get the. Option select blocking. You can do this 360 motion kind of slow. When people do numbers like that, it's a uh, Japanese notation. It's literally look at your number pad. 412 is like quarter circle going right. I mean, 36, half circle going right. And then 9 adds a direction. I see a lot more when I'm, I see a lot more when I'm playing guilty games. Yeah, Japanese always use it, that, that kind of notation. And it's thus more popular with games that are played heavily in Japan. Oh. Ugh. I love Elena's combos because they go so far. They don't do a whole lot of damage, but whatever. Lena has combos to do a lot of damage, you just have to... Ooh, the combo of the trade. That was cool. I didn't react to that. I reacted to the fact that it was something weird. I think it's good. I think it's cool when you, uh... Do jabs into the EX Mallet Smash. And then, like, keep looping that. Oh shit. Yeah. Like we're you have to do a strong cancel into the EX mount smash or else it doesn't combo. Yeah. So I actually have to do my adult links cool. instead of my baby links. I always do baby links with Lina even though I have the adult links pretty consistently. It is. It looks cool but it is a fat waste of meter. It's never worth doing more than one in a combo. Yeah, because scaling, right? Yeah. Elena's meter is super precious. That move doesn't even do a whole lot of damage. It only does 80. But Elena loves her meter, and she doesn't want to use it on crap like that. The only reason you'd really do it is for um, uh, normalizing the distance from the opponent in combos. You'll always be the exact same range that you want to be. Fearless. That's three frames, but it's not invincible or anything. I probably confuse a lot of people with that. That was not supposed to happen. Wow.
That's true in Street Fighter 4 as well. That's like how you do SPDs. Call by that trade, but it knocked down. Nice block. It's actually unsafe. Oh no. That was cancelled to um, EX spin scythe, but I literally slipped and just dropped it. That's a punish. That move's real unsafe. I don't know why, why I would ever decide to do heavy. Is that actually true, Jinrai? Music notes come out of Elena's ass? That sounds perfect. That sounds like my fetish. I think Elena's cute, but like... No, I think Elena's cute. Elena's a cutie pie. Alright, time to counterpick. I'm sure there's lots of those. New generation Elena playthroughs. New generation was bad. Fucking air low parries and shit like that. Fun fact about Third Strike, the balance got better every version. Oh well, fuck, I mean about Street Fighter 3, I guess. Balance got better every version, but... 10 for the most part wasn't changed in any of the versions. And he went from being a mid-tier to a high-tier to a top-tier. I feel like the same is happening in Street Fighter 4. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. I still wouldn't consider 10 top tier at all. Oh shit. How'd I fuck that up that bad? I had like fucking the biggest. The biggest fucking combo. I'm coming for you. Oh, I'm not coming for you. <gasps> My little forward was early. Rat. Yeah, Elena's anti air suck against dive kicks. I knew. I did that with that express purpose. Yeah, you can link. Wouldn't it be cool if Oro was like in a modern fighting game? Hmm. Good. That's actually interesting anti-pressure. <gasps> I wasn't there in time. Oh shit, that's supposed to be in Scenario Dark. Was in Street Fighter Five. Who? Q? Oh, Q? Yeah, yeah I, I hope too. Or a really cool version of 12. That 12 should have been in fucking this game. Yeah, he's perfect. Damn. Eating everything. Oh. I'm done. Good combo. A very important time to hit all of that. That's good that you did. I'm coming in. That was not a punish. No, I think it was a punish. That's not the punish I wanted. Ooh. Ooh, good link. Damn, I'm dumb. That move forces stand. EX mount, or regular, any mallet smash. Damn. That read. Oh. Uh, that hurts. Does that even work? I've never even seen that. Oh, that's nice. I'm coming. Oh shit! I'm not coming in. I'm done. It's down backing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can't spell with that. 
I mean, I get what does what does spell spell blank without blank really mean? I guess you could take out s some of the letters. I just realized, like, a few, like I never really played Tiny before in uh, Ultra Street Fighter. Like, I, I just found out about like that weird version of her EX. Uh, was it Tenet Spike? Where you like do a you do that weird Fei Long like. Instant overhead. I mean, like an instant yeah. instant air one. Yeah. That's so cool. It's been there since vanilla. It's actually hella broken. It's like it's amazing. You get your frame traps. You can like it dodges lows. It dodges throws. It uh is it like um it dodges. It's got hit stun for days, so you can just ultra went on reaction to it working. Yeah, you can do whatever you want with it. Yeah, you can do stand fierce, stand fierce. Spiral arrow. Oh. For the past, like, I want to say two or three months, I've just not gotten any better. I don't know why. Yeah, uppercut. Oh. He actually burned it. Oh, far stay medium kick. That was, like, the time to do that, too. That was cool. Walk in throw. I don't really like that. I mean, I like it like as a. I like it in footsies. I don't like it on wake up. The opponent's just gonna block it like every time. You can get better meaty pressure. Ooh, you can get an uppercut there, but I think it was too far. Ah, uh, nice combo. Should have been like Tatsu. No idea why it wasn't. It was an excellent combo though. Damn, my song. I've 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 played this matchup like I was gonna experiment. My song looks like he's really fucking. Maybe he just made a bunch of bad guesses. I never got a chance to play CBS too. I mean, obviously I have it on like fucking random ass consoles, but I've never played it against a human opponent once. It seems like a pretty cool game. I like know enough about it just from watching a lot of footage. I try to immerse myself in games even if I don't play them. I have it on PS3 with that crappy PS2 version 3 thing, which it doesn't work that well. <laughs> but uh, I can't play that like at a higher level at all. Agroove does seem like the best thing in the game. I don't know if it seems stupid. It seems like the one I would use. Custom combos are good and fun. Any game that allows custom combos, like I kind of like, Com confirm RC with custom combo. I don't know what RC means. Combine. Roll confirm. cancel, I believe. Oh, roll cancel. Yeah, if you can cancel. It's like really hard to do, but you can cancel the rolls. I don't know mm. why I went to that. I'm going to drop this Cody tutorial in a second. You're going to see some shit. <laughs> It'll come out in the next couple of days. I think A Groove is generally considered to be the strongest groove in CVS too. Notably, K Groove loses really badly to A Groove, and A Groove should be the strongest on paper too. There were a lot of K Groove was viable, but um, it got kind of fucked. It got kind of fucked up by um, A Groove would activate K Groove and then kill it, so you would just lose all your meter in K Groove. A Groove was like a counter to K Groove. Japan says K Groove stands up to A Groove. Oh, they know better than me. That's gonna catch. Super 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 Demon is one frame. If you haven't already jumped, it works like a 720. Ultra Demon is like five frames, so you can jump out of it. That's like a really important thing about Akuma actually. It's very underutilized for Akuma, mostly because this meter is better elsewhere. P groove is bad. Why would you do that? I, I, well, there, was I like one, there was one big player that used P groove for some reason. P groove seems like a worse K groove. Like you, I would. I know that it gives you more time, but I would much rather have just defend. Is just better than parries. Oh, just yeah. defend is way better. Easier too. 
kind of want to do this. Just the fending is like blocking at the exact right time, right? Yeah. That's so much easier because like what you don't risk anything. Gonna happen is you're gonna block. Yeah. Then you can still air just a fend too. Yeah. But P groove does give you more time to do stuff than K groove does. But the super meter sucked. It was just like a regular ass super bar. So I kind of want that. Oh shit. How do you play on? I always forget. I tried to low short, but I was I was early, and then I was late. You know what I mean? Oh shit. I'm bad. I don't know how to play on. Let me do this. <laughs> My block strings suck. That was bad. I didn't get a single block string on. A game my friend brought over there like a few months ago that I was I never like I heard I've obviously heard of it but uh, I was just so happy to finally get to play it was uh Rival Schools. I've never I've never even seen footage of Rival Schools. Oh shit! I didn't want that. It's actually, re it's probably I would say it's one of my favorite 3D fighters. But that's just because I'm not huge in the 3D fighters. I'm getting my ass kicked. I need like a miracle. But, ah, oh. that was bad. I was playing Yun recently in Third Strike, and I like realized that I like Yun in that game. I already knew. Like, if I wanted to play a Third Strike style game in in CBS, it seems like N Groove would give me more of that. Multiple stocks of supers. Engrove looks alright. I never see anyone use it, but it seems fine. K Groove seems better though. I've never seen footage of Rival Schools, and I've never seen footage of Project Justice. Whenever people talk about this games, so I'm just like, wow, I wonder what they're like. I could just look it up on YouTube, but I always forget. I'm never near YouTube when they're mentioned. And Groove seems kind of cool. Looks like KF98. I, I played the nurse in my old school. Isn't soccer in the game? And like a bunch of characters who like never appeared yeah, in any of their game. In the game. Isn't Kyosuke from Rival Schools? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know who's and, from what. Uh, whoever the guy was in uh, Hatsunoko. Oh, Batsu. Batsu. Yeah, he's from. He's the main character. Oh, I know that. Is he Ryuish? Or is he completely different? Actually, believe it or not, they, they have a Ryu clone in it, and it's the principal. <laughs> and he like looks like, he's like an old like Japanese dude, he looks like he wouldn't be like a Ryu clone at all, but he has a Shoryuken and like everything. Oh shit, I song hasn't he's seen that set up. Gotta work on your matchup knowledge, I song. The, um, oftentimes with Capcom fighting games, they kind of sneak a Ryu in. Or, like, not a Ryu, but something kind of like a Ryu. As the main character, or as an important character. Like, if you've ever played, like, uh... The, the most obvious example is Morgan. Morgan has some vaguely Ryu-ish elements to her. Which is why it's such a fucking weird-ass thing that Morgan's always the character that makes it to the crossover games. It's like, wow, can we have more shutouts? Yeah. This is one weird popular game that had dark, uh, dark stalker characters in it. Oh, I saw that. It was uh, it's like a PS3 game. And it's like not even a fighting game. It's, like super, it's a super bad uh, like RPG or something. I saw it and like Dimitri and Felicia are on the box art and I'm like, what the fuck? Like Dimitri should be the character in the crossovers. Oh. Dimitri's actually a really cool, unique character. Sorry, who? No, I was, I was just gonna say, um, I was pumped for it, but then like I heard it just complete ass. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. 
Man, I get so... Fuck. I get so excited for some games, and then if they're bad, it's just like, damn. SVC Chaos. That game was the game that had zero in it. And Hugo. It had, like, me it had zero from Mega Man Zero. It had, like, that zero. It's like, what the fuck? Of all the zeros to pick. I mean, not that there are a lot. But, like, Mega Man Zero Zero, was, uh, it was kind of cool to see him. I really like Mega Man Zero. I feel like Mega Man Zero is, like, the... The culmination of 2D platformers. You know what I mean? Oh, that move sucks when it does that. I wish Capcom went. Oh, that recovered nothing. <laughs> that recovered literally like 70 health. I wish Capcom would just make a little fighting game with like five characters. You know what I mean? And just release it, like, announce it and release it in like eight months. And they would just keep on doing that until they came up with some mechanics that everyone thought were fresh and new and cool. I wish Capcom could just micro-develop fighting games instead of making it this huge thing. Ever since like Street Fighter 4 came out, the fighting game division at Capcom has been completely overhauled. And like the release schedule of... of um, fighting games. I just want something little with like a with a new cast where it's kind of okay if it flops. I'm like looking for a new fighting game to get into, but like, it's not a lot coming out other than MK. Street Fighter 5. So. You got Tekken 7. Oh. You gotta, you gotta, oh. you gotta block a long time. Ooh, he wanted some kind of FADC. Should have come down with a jump fierce on that neutral jump. There's like no risk to doing that. You might as well always do it. Life is pretty good. I had a feeling that was coming. Ice Song is um. I wouldn't say he's happy with the XDP, but he will use it. And that's good. The worst Vega of all time. Like, broken or bad? Good sweep. Cody can punish the uh, spin with um, low short. Alpha 3 Vega is good even without CC infinites. Alpha 3 Vega is a good character. Oh yeah, I really want to play at the grass. My friend keeps claiming he has a like a beta, and then when I ask him to bring it over, like on like a, or like even give me like the key, he refuses. I really want to play it. I didn't fund it. I really want to play it. Vegas good in Alpha Three. What are you talking about, Jeremy? I feel like he's he's solid. His normals aren't. No, his normals are good. Especially his jump. His jump arc is amazing. It's like completely unique. You can kind of poke a lot of characters in that game. Vegas like a high tier in, in Alpha 3, in my opinion. Oh my god, I did the wrong thing. Yeah, it's not, it's not good. You gotta walk forward, do a quick crouch fierce. That was supposed to be a regular, like, fierce or crouch fierce. Vega's weird in Alpha 3, but he's not bad. He's got, like, a fully invincible Scar uh, Scarlet Terror. He's got, like, uh, jump normals to interact favorably with every other character's jump normals. No, like a lot of characters, a lot of characters worse than Vega have Crouch Cancel Infinite. Like a lot. Crouch Cancel Infinite's most common among the bottom tiers. Actually. Like a lot of the top tiers don't have it. Like Akuma doesn't have a Crouch Cancel Infinite. Sakura doesn't have a top a Crouch Cancel Infinite. A lot of the best characters just don't. Karin's got really, really good uh, custom combos. Karin's, Karin's theoretically one of the best characters in the game. Hmm. I feel like I feel like the full potential of Karin was never unlocked for Alpha Three. I feel like she's amazing. Well, wow. oh. damn that walk back. I didn't want that as a punish. <gasps> Fuck. Karin has like a good SPD. Shit. Block him with my face. Shit. Alright, it's fine. God, counter hit. It's full connect. Damn. Ken is a comeback kid. 
Ken can make comebacks better than almost any character. I should have known, but I didn't. Yeah, I'll make a how to play Dudley. I'm gonna make a how to play with everyone eventually. That whiffed so fast. Oh shit. No second hit. Equals no second hit FADC. That was an attempted ultra, I think. Oh, this should be an ultra. He knows what's good for him. I would not ultra. That was just the ultra. Ah. Uh. Okay. Falco and Fox I find to be very interesting characters in Street Fighter, I mean fuck, in Melee. Possibly in the other Smash games too. They seem the most technical. They seem like they have generously the highest, highest ceiling of any character. And I like when a character has a high ceiling. I haven't played that character in forever, let's do it. I like when a character has a high ceiling and is a top tier, you know what I mean? I like when the character with like the the deepest meta like, I like when the hardest character is the best character, and Fox movement is insanely complex. Smash movement is already complex. Look at all the damage. Oh shit. Yoshi's a higher skill cap. I don't know that much. Because nothing about Yoshi strikes me as being higher. Oh. I'll take that trade. Hmm. They didn't anti here. Makoto is cool. That was not a punish. That <gasps> was too fast! I did the wrong combo anyway. Oh. I definitely had a punish there. <gasps> Fuck! Makoto's Japanese voice actress is also named Makoto. I actually already knew that. I'm pretty sure Japanese Makoto speaks like a weird like dialect. It's the... it's... she's a... Uh, oh shit, I used to know this. Yeah, she's got a very... Uh, Tosa. She's got a Tosa dialect. She's got a very abnormal uh, Japanese accent. And the joke is that there's a river in Tosa, or wherever, called the Makoto River. Literally, her name came first, and then every quality came from her name. Like, Makoto is a, a gender-ambiguous name, so they made her like a gender-ambiguous character. Makoto is not rare, but... my cancel. I missed that cancel in forever. Oh, no. Ugh! That's supposed to be a punch. 
Makoto has some things that are inspired by some manga, but I don't remember what. Dudley is heavily inspired by, um, uh, what's that, what's that, um, shit, I can't think of it. He's heavily inspired by some popular Japanese manga. Is it super popular? It's like a boxing manga. I It's super popular. I feel Ipo like I should know. Hajime no Ipo. Yeah, that one. Yeah. I'm here. Like you, should, you should jump around the house. That's not a punish. You should, uh, whoa. Ooh. Oh, fuck. It was way too late. Whoa, nice. Where's your ultra? Yeah. Wait. I feel like it would have scaled bad because. Red focus. It still was the best Red possible, focus. best possible thing to do there. Oh, everything you did was gonna scale bad. Oh my god. I'm like zero for zero today. Oh, that was bad. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. That was a counter hit. I didn't even get the combo. Or the punish. That's a 4 frame move too, I think. Or maybe 5. Cross jab, or stand jab. Towards jab. Towards jab is Makoto's ideal punish. Normal for speed. My Makoto needs work. It was okay, but I was unoptimized as hell. My everything needs work. Alright, I'm about to drop some... Drop some grabs. I don't know about JoJo, so I can't say about Jerry. Probably just a character that's a lot like her. Give some tips for this matchup? No. Only after you lose. Oh, this Akan Oil costume is awesome. First of all, don't do anything that's minus three. Well, how am I supposed to know when I'm oily? Okay, I'm not oily anymore. Oh shit. Whoa, I didn't want that. I didn't want that jump. I must look like the most patient uh con in the universe. Not a good way. Oh shit. I wasn't ready for that. That's an ultra, that's a punish. That's minus one. If I get reversal, that's a punish. Don't do any minus moves against Akon. Also punish slide with a... Uh... Oh shit. I mean not punish slide, punish uh, Hakan's oiling with slide. Oh. No! I don't know why I did that. I don't know how to get out of the other one. The one that, like, jumps at you. Oh, you just, uh, crouch. It's a low. I mean, it's a, not a low, but... I like that walk up there. That's cool. <gasps> that didn't reach. That wasn't a punish. Or a combo, rather. That's a punish. I didn't even get the reversal, so it might not have been. I think it was. Oh, that was good. Reacted. Oh, fuck. It's really risky on Hakan. 
Try to stick to the hard one and try to avoid them if you have no meter. That's nice. I was gonna have ADC that. Basically, any minus move, you have to be really wary on grapplers. You have to win in footsies, which basically means win with stand round house and stand and back round house. Back round house is really good. And low strong and stuff. And you have to be really scared if he's focusing in with armor because um, he moves. Duh. So um, you have to do like um, um, cancels and stuff. Stand short into EX, uh, or stand short into hard, uh, Link's Tail is pretty good as an anti-focus. It's like as good as it gets, actually. That was greedy. <gasps> Fuck! That was supposed to be 360. I just did my motion wrong. I was not ready to buffer that. That's supposed to be an throw. I'm here. Akan is here. Akan has so much health, and, like, hmm. A lot of oil. Hakan has so much health and Akuma has so little. But Akuma has to really outplay Hakan in this matchup. For example, the Hakan needs to not do things like that. That was bad. It was safe, I think, at that range. I didn't attack. I didn't even try to attack. I was brave. Damn. Damn. That is not what I wanted. I wanted an ultra, but I was greedy as fuck trying to do a grounded ultra without even a whiff. I wasn't thinking about it. And I got an EX slide because I didn't want to jump. Safe. That did not combo. Ugh. Can't jump slower than I'm used to. Once again, same exact scenario. What's your focus there? You can punish oil with slide at any distance, yeah. Maybe not absolutely max max, but don't let yourself get absolutely max max. I can't almost can't jump over Hugo. Oil changes everything. Oil gives Akan more defense. It lets him chain his light normals, which is a pretty big deal on a grappler. Oh shit. I was safe though. Okay. Uh it lets him cancel his forward dashes into normals, which makes his footsies a lot better. Wake up, wake up. Yeah, I got it. It does a lot of stuff. It makes his ultras do more damage. I think it makes his everything do more damage. Good trade for me. I think everything... Maybe except grab? Like, regular grab. Maybe. That might kill. Nope. <laughs> I was trying to be real safe. That was perhaps a bit too safe. You gotta have a nice balance between trying to be safe and not letting your opponent get a uh, comeback going. I haven't practiced my Hakan in a long time. I played him a little bit when he was new, and now a lot's changed. I'm not even doing, like, Crisco shit. Ultra 2 is really good with Hakan, but I'm just using one. Hakan's anti-airs are not so good. He has normal anti-airs, which are okay, but kind of bad. And then he's got Ultra 2, which is amazing, but has kind of a long motion. And then you've got, um... Uh... Like a couple... Like... Nothing. You got jump anti airs.
That didn't combo. I dropped that stuff several times over. God damn it. Blood oil. If you ever blood oil, you should always blood oil with hard. Uh. Way too fast and also too far. I don't even know if that's the strongest cancel. Oh, yeah, his focus attack slides when he's got oil. I didn't even mention that. It's kind of cool though. Yeah, I like how those strike handles trades on KO too. Oh. Khan's jump is not so high. Oh. Am I dead? Not quite. <gasps> I'm dead. Third strike, when you trade on KO, it shows you the normal center intersecting. It doesn't just have... In this game, it makes it so both characters are recoiling. So you don't get to see what traded with what. Which is really annoying. Oh shit, that was, might have been a punish. You could take that throw, I don't know why you're not. That's a tackable throw. If you ever miss the opponent midair, you should always be ready for that. Oh shit. <laughs> I missed you. Oh fuck. Got me. That's really, that's harder than it looks because level 2 focus is plus rams. So you have to do uh, 720 and then not do it as soon as you can. You have to like buffer it a little bit. Wait. And then do it. Oh yeah, and the sparks are different colors for both characters. Fun fact, in Third Strike. The hit animations are different colors depending on which character is doing the hitting. Player 1 and Player 2 side is different. It's kind of a neat little thing about Third Strike. I feel like there's a lot of neat little things about Third Strike though. Yeah. Every, everything down to like the sprite work. There's a lot of hidden little easter eggs everywhere. One player red, two player green. Urian's mirrors are also different colors depending on who throws them. One player and two player side have different color mirrors. One's blue, one's purple. Pulverize, yeah. Well, maybe I won't. Didn't combo. Damn. Damn, getting counter poked. Fearless. My song knows me too well. Not a level 3. Always do a level 3. Hmm. It's not the greatest time to do that. And that's not the greatest combo to do. That was a punish. Oh, that's not what I needed right there. Damn. Damn.
Damn. Oh, fuck. I wasn't ready for that. That worked impeccably. I even got the ultra meter from it. Am I dumb? It's just kick nothing, kick, kick, kick. Didn't get the combo. It's not even a hard combo. Whoa, it happened. The bug. The bug that guy talked about. I hit a button and nothing came out in that frame because it lagged on that frame. Someone talked about that bug. That's never happened before. Someone came in and like mentioned it. It's like, has that happened to anyone? I was like, fucking no. I've never even heard of that. And then it literally just happened. Dropping combos. That song doesn't... Like, no offense. But you didn't play that matchup like you knew it. Crouch jab is really important. With crouch jab, you can punish uh, actually all of Balrog's dash punches. The overhead ones, you have to block on reaction, but they're all on save. You got hit by, like, every single overhead I did. But they're, like, minus, like, 10 if you actually block them. And they're pretty reactable. You can low block then high block on a on a dash punch. Like you can low block and then if it's a low dash punch you'll block it and then high block and if it's a overhead dash punch you'll block it. So you just change your blocking direction after a certain amount of time has passed. You don't even need to react. Um and that's a good habit if you fight Balrogs. I'm coming in. I song apparently hasn't been exposed to a lot of matchups. I mean, yeah, that's like the biggest problem when you're new. It's like trying to know matchups. Ooh, that was nice. Got a really good three frame jab and dash punch mix ups. All those normals are pretty good. I wouldn't say all. A few choice normals are really good. I was canceled to super. Oh, there it is. Check it out. I can still change versions of the super, even though you, it doesn't accept inputs. And, the, and it's funny because you still kept the meter. Yeah, yeah. If you do that in like round two, you still have the meter in round three. But isn't that cool? If you if you hit punch or kick, it'll change whether it's punch or kick uh, follow up. Isn't that weird? Even though the game doesn't eat, accept inputs in the final, like after the KO, it still lets you do that. How do I retain matchup knowledge? I don't know, dude. You'll get it if you play them enough. The same way that fucking I know that DJ's fucking up punch fucking machine gun upper is charged down up and punches even though I fucking barely play DJ anymore. If you've been exposed to something enough times, you retain it. You probably won't remember about Hakan, I'm not gonna lie. The thing is, a lot of the stuff that I mentioned with Hakan is also true for other grapplers. So, like, if you just fight like a T-Hawk, Oh, yeah, shoulder. <laughs> I know, I missed it every It's alright, just time. fucking think about it. Every time you miss it, even if you miss it, just think about it. Just think about how you could have done it. And eventually the thoughts will come faster and faster. And then it'll, you'll be able to do it on reaction. That's just how it works. You've, been, you've, you've had that scenario a lot, though. Like, that almost never happens, I feel like. You, we've had it, like, happen four times today. You could have blocked that. Didn't react to the side change, maybe. Oh, nice hold. 
You had EX shoulder there too. Oh, I got all four hits on Guy. So the final one didn't connect. That's weird. Guy's weird. That's an overhead. Should go with that saying. It's quite unsafe on block. Ooh. Oh, no. I meant to. I was trying to jump out of the corner. Ah, uh, it's, like, not, it's not. It's uh. Wait for a good time. I, yeah. I feel like the really big difference between a lot of like uh new players and a lot of veterans is new players time their commits with um. Uh, block stun. Like uh. Not even like necessarily like what what people will do is they'll wait for a time where they're um where they're where the opponent is minus frames. Like after the opponent has pushed himself out before they'll make a commit like a poke or a jump or anything like that. You know? Like if you if your opponent's plus frames and you go for something, you're gonna get stuffed because they're gonna be like already hitting you by the time your attack's coming out or your jump's coming out or whatever. You have to like block a little string maybe before um um Oh shit. Oh, I gotta play. Oh shit. I tried. I tried again. Mm. So one frame link. I don't know why I'm trying for it. Oh fuck, what happened? This song's playing this matchup weird as fuck, I like it. Oh fuck, I deserve that. <laughs> that wasn't a punish? That wasn't a punish! Get out of here with that. Where are the anti-airs? Alright. Oh shit. Why'd I do that? That's, I had ultra. Flame kick. I song turtled it out, but not in a good way. It's hard to get a healing off versus Phalon, because Phalon's full screen presence is good. Like, he can hit you out of your healing? Oh. Why do I keep on doing that? That's not the right combo. That's nice. Bay long is short when he crouches. I mean, guess. I guess Elena is too. Hmm. I'm playing Fei Long like a scrub. That was nice. Hmm. I just want my record to hit. That doesn't chain anymore, does it? <laughs> that didn't reach. I didn't dash that. Bad. Why do I keep on going for that? And why does it keep on not working? I'm a scrub, I don't know how to play Fae Long. I mean, I, I know this is a bad matchup. Ugh. I played the link, but I missed the cancel. Damn, Elena doesn't have a whole. Oh. A friend request. I love friend requests. Oh, shit. It's like the first time I went for that. In that context. Where are the anti dude? Why are you just letting me jump in?
<laughs> that juggled weird on Elena, and also that didn't punish. That's weird, it lost the first hit. I needed that too. I attacked that. Must have attacked early. Oh, splits here. Oh, I hate being from the East Coast. 6, 6 a.m. Shit. No, I, I, it's not like I can go to bed now. It's like... I got tomorrow off. Thursday, Friday is my weekend. I wish I could stream recording my Cody clips, but streaming's... Like... I use OBS, which is what I used to stream with, to fucking record the clips. And if I used like Fraps and OBS, I'd fucking get hella, uh, hella bad quality in my recording. But like it's boring when I'm just doing it by myself and I don't have my chat. It's awful. Oh, that's nice. Split with the brave uppercuts. Hard fireballs are really good in this matchup. Split. Elena has to guess to anti. I mean, don't just throw them. You don't want to get slid. But um. Uh, she has to she has to guess slide instead of reaction sliding. They're really annoying for Elena to deal with. She can ex uh, Rhino Horn through them, but that's um, they cost a meter and it only does 50 damage. Anti air eye song, holy shit, stand strong. I'm getting sick of you seeing you just block jump ins. I jumped in like 20 million times on you last match. How do you get 28,000 by fucking 2800 by fucking blocking every jump in? Take the blood healing. Yeah, I like that. That should have not been an ultra split. That's not what you do there. You should have just dashed in like twice, and then if she, he did the full healing, which he probably was going to do, he ended up doing because he didn't see you approaching. Um, oh, that's oh shit. That's just what I saw needed though. Now he's got the life lead, and the time's almost up. You can get it back, but it's going to be hard. You should have thrown some fireballs. <laughs> um, oh, I song. Uh, yeah, Elena's time over victory is cute. It's the one that's in the trials. She dances. Um, I forgot what I was gonna say. Whoa! Oh, that's not a punish. Work on that split. That's bad. That's like, that'll get you killed. <laughs> don't. Don't do. Oh, no, no, I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, fuck. Ice Song. Hold up forward when you see that. You got you, you had the kill combo there. Alright, so first of all, um, uh, if you get EXDP, it means you're not ending on straight forward. So your problem is you weren't you were hitting the button before you completed the motion. So make sure you get the absolute complete motion. Yeah, I split needs no encouragement. Um uh I song you should have been holding up forward whenever you see if you're not committed to anything and real ultra ones, you can hold up forward and you'll jump over it at any range. So um um if you did that, you would have gotten a jump in combo instead of a slide. And that would have been a good game. You can actually forward jump and then get a full level 3 crumple. I don't know if Elena can, because Elena's jump is kind of committed. You got a long jump. Like, all my friends, they all just play Dota. So, I, always, 
I'm always playing like ranked alone. Shit, dude. Make some fucking Street Fighter friends. Fucking, that's why. I, no. That's what bath cups are for. Well, the way it happened was, uh, well, they're all my like my real life friends, but like. Oh, there you go. My one friend bought uh, everyone a. Nice of him. Like for Christmas. I actually did that <laughs> with my friends. Steam sale, he bought like twelve of them. And he gave me one. So only only like two of us still play after all that. That's literally what happened with my group of friends. Ooh. Good reaction. Yes! I song stealing the tech from me. That was perfect. Like my one friend's pretty good, but he thinks he's complete ass. The better you are, the more you think you're ass. Yeah. Like, he's a rock when it comes to, like, blocking and stuff. I'm, it's ridiculous. Like, hard to open up? Or just very dedicated? Yeah, I can't, it's hard to open up, and then when he does get something going, he gets it going. But, like, the only thing I would say he did wrong was he, like, never really focused on, like, the whole combo system of Street Fighter 4, like, recently. Like, he always just went for, like, target combos and pick characters like that. Yeah, that's bad. But, like, now that he's starting to learn Lynx, it's getting, like, ridiculous how fast he's it's progressing. Lynx are an essential part of this game. Who wouldn't be into Ultra? What the fuck, Spleen? Ultra, like, I've heard nearly unanimous praise from Ultra, even from people who played, like, Phelan and Kami. They're like, these characters are nerfed, but like, it's good nerf. They weren't even both universally nerfed, they both got like, some buffs. Which is kinda cool. Like, Phelan can now do short, short, fierce. And it's actually like, a good combo. Ooh. Ugh. Bad confirm. It was too far out. I like that you were looking for it, but that, com that combo's hard as fuck. Or the overhead into the short, though. Hi, hi Spleenatron. You, um, I don't know what was optimal there. That's, that was probably a punish, but you should have gone for, like, stand strong. You don't use target combo enough, actually. Yeah. Target combo into shoulder. You don't do, like, any light shoulder combos. Whoa. Ugh. I tried, tar I tried to do, like, a meaty target combo. It didn't work out. Got an anti-air, gotta hit that far roundhouse. Not close roundhouse. Any roundhouse. Yeah, Lin is tricky. That was good. Good counter poke. Sweep is very... Even a throw would do more damage than that, though. Remember, sweep is a very... Um, if you have a sliding sweep, it's like it's easy to fall on it like a crutch. Guy was one of my first characters in this game. but um, And I, I spam that shit, and it's not good to spam. You'll always have better options. Do you have like a uh, crouch jab, crouch jab, Bushin Chain? You use a lot of crouch shorts and not a lot of crouch jabs. Jab has a lot more frame advantage. That was good. That was a block and punish. Oh my god, I can't believe I got super right then. You should have. I didn't. You should have done light didn't shoulder super. That, to be honest. But like, like, I got the link. Light shoulder super would have been excellent there. Yeah, I didn't get the shoulder off. I'm kind of upset about that. It looked like you didn't go for it. You did the super way early if you were trying to do the shoulder. When Elena healed from the half screen, I thought, um, when forward dash, forward dash, and then react to see if she's doing a full ultra or a half ultra. If she's doing a half ultra, there's no way you can prevent it, but she only gets, like, 100 health. If she's doing a full ultra, um, you can get a full jump in combo. Those are the two possible things that can happen. Get in range for a full jump in combo and see if she does the little jump. If she does the jump, then she's committed to a long animation. Yeah, dash. We're doing an open lobby. You can join if you want. There's no skill requirement. My song is probably better than everyone else here, unfortunately. Unfortunately for everyone but I song. Be right back once again. That was a punish.
Look at that whiff punish. I'm here. I'm here. Did you see how here I was? Sometimes you gotta remind your opponent that you've got spammable overhead. You can copy that shit, that shit's good. I don't know why I did that, that was weird. I've never done that combo before. Ah, oh, combo the trade. We're ready though. Oh, that didn't combo. I should have done light. Light's more reliable there. Just as a future reference. That's nice. Oh, I'm, a f I'm so free to do that. I'm always down blocking. That didn't punish. Look at that shit, dude. This is the third time I got up to go to the bathroom and didn't come back with a drink. I hate that, dude. When you like think about both and then you do one and then it's like, should I sat down again? You know what's awful is when like you get up and get a drink and then you sit down and you're like, oh, should I have to use the bathroom? Because then you have to get up right yeah. then. It just sucks on like the far in my house on the farthest room away. I'll play some of this fucker. I might the way my house is set up, like my room's not even supposed to be in like part of my own house. It's like part of an addition, so there's like this really big long hallway for no reason. Oh, uh, I see. It. Is it cozy? Oh yeah, I love it because like me, like I only I only live with my brother, so. Oh nice. It's pretty sounds pretty good because he's like he's a huge gamer, but he's so like ignorant about the fighting game thing. It's, that happens with a lot of people. Adon is really abusive to Shadows. Whoa. Uh -oh. I'd already done that. You could have Tatsu there, that would have been awesome. Should have jump jabbed. My brother's just huge in the retro games, and like he collects like every game ever, and buys every AAA title, and Sounds he thinks I'm wasting my time when I play one game, instead of buying a million of them. That's kind of funny. But Don't try to rush your corner escape in this matchup. That's like the biggest killer. Adon can corner you, and if you get antsy about being cornered, you're fucked. That's nice. Just take it slow. Oh shit, I'm eating everything. I got the frame trap, but it traded. It's not a combo on Shadows, and I died because of that. I forget what the combo is on Shadows. That one works on almost everyone. It might be stand strong into light. I just want to jump in. That's all I ever want. Oh shit. Uh, I deserve that. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I should have died. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> I'm such a scrub. If you ever see Adon take to the wall, a 100% safe uh, option is Stand Run House. If Adon ever jumps to the wall, Stand Run House, if he does the light version, he hits the ground. Like, you ca he can't punish you for hitting Stand Run House. And, um. If he goes towards you, Stand Run House beats it clean. 
So you should that should just be your go-to button. Stand fierce works too, but it's more precise, and that's bad because ex and hard are different speeds. Which means if you stand fierce, there's one that can that might fuck you up. I'm gonna go get that drink. I forgot. <sighs> Grab one for me too. I want to play a game that's not Street Fighter 4. Oh fuck. Time to find out. Ooh, that crazy block. That's not what I wanted. Oh shit, I missed the link and the cancel. You can get either. So I like double failed. Aidan's jump is very quick, very low commit. Which is nice. Oh, missed the second half. Whoa, don't eat those. It, blocking them is a bit overwhelming because they do a lot of chip, but it's really not that bad. But don't eat them. If you're not committed to anything, like, you can low forward to punish them, but it's kind of precise. But it works for all of them. Oh. Oh, I missed that. And I dropped. Ooh, good trade for me, though. Okay, okay, okay. I got two messages on Skype. I'm going to check them real fast. Hold on. One of them's Sarah. Whoa. Should I get complete edition? Is he talking about Mortal Kombat? Sometimes I just get sick of this game, and every character looks awful. What, Street Fighter 4? Yeah. That's like when I'm yeah. done for the night, is when I don't want to play any character that I'm good at. How long until I'm a scary player? It's it's very gradual split. It depends on how good you are. Yeah, I would say $5 is worth playing, or worth paying to play Mortal Kombat 9. I missed my punish. Play C Viper. You don't know how bad my C Viper is. Actually, my C Viper is probably better than most people's C Vipers, even though it sucks. Flash kick. Oh, you should have air thrown me. Oh. oh. Missed my punish. I'll take that trade. I'll take any trade at this stage in the battle. Winning this matchup is largely based on elbow drops. Ooh. Why are you doing a confirm combo? That was a punish situation. Should have walked up and done... Yeah, this is PC. Walked up and done uh, Strong Fierce. Or Stan Ranos or something. Strong Fierce would have been most reliable. You gotta get your punish combos down pat. That would be super helpful. That would be really easy to do and it would benefit your game a lot. And also your anti-airs. Anti-airs are the difference between like a... Sub 1k and... And... Uh, super 1k. You know what I mean? Ugh. But elbow drops are key in this matchup. That was nice. A lot of times that'll whiff. They keep on saying they're making it more, more, it works better. And it does work better every game, but it still doesn't work all the time. Uh. Oh my. God. Okay. There we go. Got the right button that time. HD combos are not that hard. Get out of here with don't need anti airs. You're just a scrub. Learn anti airs. Anti airs are like the most relevant. Why'd you give up so much ground? You absolutely didn't need to give up all that room. Now you're cornered. 
Guy escapes the corner like more easily than just about any character, but like don't just walk backwards. You want to block that sonic boom as soon as possible. The longer it's on the screen, the more time it's controlling space, if that makes sense. Nice, you got rid of my white. Who should I learn in MK9 to get ready for Mortal Kombat X? I don't know. You blocked the wrong way. You should always look at the jumping distance. Like, you should look at where my feet are when I jump, and you should use that to gauge whether I'm going to cross up or not. Quan Chi's like the worst character. I mean, he's like a cool character, but he's not the best character to learn to get rid of MK, ready for MKX, because he's got super short combos. You should have someone with uh, very uh, general juggles. I think Ermac would be good. Half because Ermac is going to be in Mortal Kombat X, and half because Ermac kind of embodies what Mortal Kombat style juggles are like. Kung Lao would be good too, I guess. Reptile would also be good. Button blocking is just something you have to get used to. It's not inherently worse, it's just different. Shit, that was not good. That's a punish. Oh, it's a really bad whiff. I actually fought some DJs today in Bath Cup, so that was cool. Good thing I had that charge. As a punish. You gotta be real careful about your subbots in this matchup. Only do them when they work. Or space them. Spacing them is okay. EX Fireball is not really good in any matchup. Good thing I charge. Hey, Light Knight Crew. I mean, Bottom Feeder. You gotta time that more precisely now. I think I'm gonna pull after a few. Even though I'm sorry that you just got here, Splinatron. But I'm like getting a little tired of Street Fighter. I feel like this matchup is bad. <laughs> I don't like this for Go. It's a bad matchup for Go. Uh, overhead's a real spammable in this matchup, but watch out for Sonic Boom. You can punish with a slide on reaction, which is pretty nice. But I'm gonna be doing the hard one, which is harder to punish on reaction. But also, it's shittier. Oh, nice. I didn't want that. Yeah, you should know. Oh. Cool. Gal's on point. I do open lobbies after every bath cup, and I will randomly do them at other points during the week, but one hasn't happened in a long time because uh, um, I got hired. Ouch. Mm. Uh, I have locked. Hmm. Too obvious. Ouch. Cool. Take that. I actually kind of prefer Ultra 1 in this matchup. Even though it might be sacrilege. That was nice. That was... Lane is really good at Nusha jumping fireballs. This is looking like my match. That's kind of what you have to do. I did a confirm combo because I'm a dipshit. Oh. That sucks. Oh. Cool. 
If I did a punish combo, that would have been like, I would have done as much damage as he healed. Maybe more. That's like the punish. He should have done a half one, and then I he would have gotten it off safely. But if he did a half one, there was nothing I could do to stop it. Didn't matter how fast I got there. That was kind of fun. Things are going to be different. Whenever you pick up a new fighting game, people you're always going to be dissatisfied with the differences because they're not going to play to your strengths anymore. So, um, be ready to have to adapt to Mortal Kombat X. Nice jump. Whoa. Oh my god, I didn't get the link. I know oh. it's the one frame link, but I'm actually not that bad at it. Wait, which? Wasn't that same for you? Towards strong look. Medium punch. Oh, it was Crush Roof. Cool. Yeah, I was gonna do both of them. Do you plank it? What? Do you plank it? Yeah, I plank it. Mm. Sometimes I don't need to for the crush. The, or that, the color medium, into uh, medium, but I definitely have to plank it for the heavy, I don't know why. Oh, that's a good counter poke. Cody's counter pokes are alright. It's too slow there. Should not have thrown you out of the corner. I react to that jump distance. Get me right back in it. Uh. Oh, that did not. Why well, wasn't EX? Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh, that wasn't even what I wanted. Oh. Okay, it's fine. It's alright, you got it anyway. And I didn't punish that at all, so. Uh, you already blocking the. Yeah, if you punish the if you punish the flash kick, you probably would all right. That flash kick was an accident, but that's not saying you shouldn't have punished it. Um, but uh, if you punish that, then I wouldn't have had I would have had a harder time because I would have been pushed to the corner. Like if you light uh, light ruffian after it, I'd have been pushed to the corner. I would have had. Um, I still didn't pick ultra one. I'm worried that if I do jump roundhouse down forward roundhouse on Elena, it's just gonna whiff. I have a weird feeling that's just gonna whiff on Elena. I like don't want to try that combo. That outfit's cute. Mine is cutie pie. My biggest problem is I get like call out all my mistakes, but I shouldn't have to call them out. I should be able to note note them before they happen. So. Everything's obvious in retrospect. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay, I guess low short is also low profile. Duly noted for the Befail records. I didn't have charge. Fuck. Ha! I knew exactly what was gonna happen before it even happened. It's like a fucking psychic vision I had. Okay, everyone's gonna main Ermac, even though like he has like he was like the most unhyped character on reveal, and he doesn't seem to have anything to do with the story. It's literally just like Ermac is good gameplay wise. And that's like enough of a reason. That hit midair. That's way better than getting hit on the ground. I saw him repping that down back. Oh, that's good. Should have done that ages ago. That's a really bad trade. Damn. Tried to flash kick that, didn't work. Did I get you? No. <laughs> that's so risky. All I have to do is flash kick FADC and that's fine. That was definitely two ultras. But you're really kicking yourself. Should be kicking me instead. Oh. I burned all my bar, then died. Yeah, it's alright. I need meter win. All I need is fireballs. 
Oh shit. What the fuck is that? He did it like he did it on purpose. That was cool. Damn. Small target combo into an overhead. Oh, that was cool. That's like, that was a, that was good. Well, I got to land my ultra. Cool. I dropped that and then I picked it up again, which is nice. But right, I think this is going to be my last one. My guy is too strong. Needs nerfing. I'm gonna go out swinging. Something kind of annoying happened to me with concerning Reddit. I don't know what I'm gonna do about it. 